Hey guys, good morning and welcome back. Or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Brooke. We are kicking off another vlog this morning from the car, as you can see. So today I have a pretty busy day and I'm excited to be bringing you guys along. We have a wedding today. My cousin's getting married. She's getting married in Sebastopol. I think that's how you say it. Sebastopol, Sebastopol, Sebastopol. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, uh, it looks like a beautiful location, so very excited. And of course, very excited for my cousin to be getting married to the love of her life. I love weddings, and it has been wedding season. A couple of videos ago, you guys saw one of my best friend's weddings, and now we get to see another one. Um, but right now, uh, I'm going to go, uh, I need to get gas, I need to wash my car, I need to go get a card for her, I need to pull out cash because we're giving her money, and then we're getting ready for the wedding and heading out. So we're gonna hang out in here while the gas fills up, but um, kind of random thing I wanted to tell you guys about. So I don't know if you've realized, but other than like the weddings and stuff, I haven't really been wearing lipstick as often because I realized that I always, um, I, don't, I don't use lip liner, so I don't, I don't wanna say like overline my lips, but like I use lipstick and like, essentially overline with lipstick and so my lips look a little bigger and I prefer that. However, I started realizing that when I wasn't wearing it, I felt like it was affecting my confidence. I was like, okay, well then I always wanna wear it. And then I was like, well, I really wanna be comfortable in my own skin. So I have been really trying to not wear lipstick and I've been wearing makeup a little less. I've been having issues with like acne and breaking out since October. I, I don't, I think it's kind of a combination of everything, but my skin has really, really cleared up. Like right now I have no breakouts, which literally not since October. I've been feeling a lot more confident in my skin recently and I'm happy about that because I feel like it has been, yeah, since before, so I guess last September. Oh my God, almost a year. Wow. I've been incredibly self-conscious for the past like year straight. That sucks. But things are going better. <laughs> so on that note, uh, anyway, my gas just finished uh, filling up. So uh, talk to you in a bit. Oh my God, in traffic, I've been picking off my nail polish. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks like a crime scene. <laughs> gosh, so I had a couple things I had to take care of and yeah, while I was driving, while I was in traffic, I've been picking off my gel nail polish that I'd gotten for Christina's wedding. And I don't even wanna show you my nails. Like they look so terrible because I'm peeling off the gel. So the top layer of my nail is like shredding. <sighs> Uh, this is not looking good and already when they put on the gel of course they always like file down the top of your nail so I was going to get my nails redone with the gel again for our Mexico trip next week but this is why I stopped doing gel in the first place because they're like oh it helps your nail grow uh, yeah but once you take it off your nail is so paper thin it like breaks and it shreds for months to come so it just makes my nails so weak. So I think I'm gonna go back to just doing regular nail polish at home and just like once a month going in so they can do like the cuticle care and like all of that stuff. I think that my resurgence of the gel era has quickly ended. so good to have my car clean. I worked up a sweat. We need to get some AC going in here. All right, let's go get this card. I 
on the card I'm going to get. I'm trying to show you guys without showing you my nails because they're so ugly. I like this one because there's plenty of room to write and then it has a little place for us to stick the money. So it's gonna be perfect. We did it, we did it. Okay, okay, this is gonna have to work. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing this dress from Lulu's. Okay, this is actually not working. Okay, this is kind of the best I can do and I am literally in the middle of an apple tree. Um, but this is the only place that the lighting is anywhere okay that you can see. But I'm wearing this dress from Lulu's, this cute little navy number. I need to watch the top. And then this necklace I got from Icing. And then I'm just wearing the matching earrings that came as part of the set. And then I'm using my YSL purse. And then I'm wearing my, and then I'm wearing my taller little nude heels. So the wedding is starting right now. Um, Darren's just put like changing his shirt, putting on his tie, all that stuff, because he didn't want things to get wrinkled on the drive because it took quite a while to get here. Uh, I'm sorry, I feel like it's not entirely focused, but um, I gotta get into the wedding. So I will see you guys there. I'll do some clips on my phone. I don't wanna bring the whole camera, but uh, welcome, see you in a bit. Hey guys, good morning, or I guess I should say good afternoon. It's like 1.30 and already it's like the best day ever. So the wedding last night was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It was in like wine country, which I didn't realize that wine country had, or like does extend um, that high up. I kind of thought that it was just like the Napa Sonoma area, but um, it, there was just like, vineyards everywhere and then the venue itself was also a vineyard so um like the whole dining area just overlooked all the vines and it was just like so magical we got back pretty late and then i slept you guys until 10 15 this morning 10 15 okay for those of you who like sleep in that might not seem like too big of a deal but for reference um it has been maybe two or three years since I've slept into 10 till 10 a.m. I have never felt so like energized and refreshed in my life. Are you guys ready to go on an evening walk? <gasps> Hunties, you guys ready to go on an evening walk? Are you guilty? We're jumping up here with dirty paws. Yes, you are. So just made my coffee, as you saw. Parents left for Mexico this morning at like 4 a.m. and then got up, showered. Right now I have a hair mask in my hair. I'm doing the Purology Superfoods hair mask, um, the one in the purple package. Um, if you guys are in the market for a new hair mask, very much recommend. Last night, I finished 
the summer I turn pretty. I'm destroyed. So I remember hearing about like the summer I turned pretty and for some reason in my head, all of that was this year. For me, basically, I thought that season one and season two somehow dropped this year. No, season one dropped last year. How did I not find this or realize that it was happening a year ago? So super late to the game, I realized that, but kind of grateful I am because then I was able to watch both seasons back to back. And then, of course, I always do a deep dive. So now I'm on like Instagram, I'm following the entire cast because I need to keep up with their personal lives, you know? Started looking into like interviews of them and like getting to like know who they are in like real life. I'm the type of person where like once a show or movie ends that I really, really liked, I need like more content up from it. So I will like go try to like find out about like the people's lives, but I'm upset because I want I want season three, like ideally by end of the week. I'm just, I'm so upset. I feel like every time I find a good show, it just ends. Like what happened to the good old days? Like remember Friends? That ran for like 10 years. Like what? I guess this is based off a book, but I mean, they could do the book and then carry on the storylines. You know what I mean? All I'm saying is that the 90s and early 2000s, they were out here giving us like five, eight, 10 years. What's with all this BS two seasons, three seasons? I want the long haul. I wanna follow them all the way through to retirement. Like I'm invested. Okay, breakfast is served. So we did not have English muffins, so we decided that we wanted to do hash browns as the base. But then we didn't want the hash browns to get soggy. <laughs> so we put the hash browns on the side, and then we have tomato mozzarella cheese, and then the egg. Hey guys, it's a couple hours later. It's about five o'clock right now, so we pretty much spent the whole day by the pool. So like laying out and tanning, swimming, going inside, cooling off, going back out and just kind of doing that little circuit for a few hours. And it was really fun. It was a really nice, peaceful day. Um, unfortunately, I don't feel like I look any tanner, but that's okay. As long as I maybe do this one or two more times before we leave for Mexico, I think I'll have enough of like a bit of base color that I won't burn when I'm there and that's the goal. Um, today has been kind of weird. So the internet has been out all day, like all day, all day. So usually we have like, um, like YouTube videos, music, shows, movies, something playing in the background at all times. And today we like couldn't do that. And I think I had told you guys several videos ago about how when I got a new phone, for some reason, all of my downloaded Spotify music didn't transfer over. It shows as downloaded, so I'm not able to download it again. But then when I go to my downloaded music, it's not there. So um, I still haven't figured that out. I haven't, I haven't even looked up how to figure it out. There might be a really easy solution, but um, I haven't really needed to because usually if I don't have like Wi-Fi, I have data, but my parents live in a dead zone. So the only way to have internet is Wi-Fi. Um, so unfortunately, like having phone data does us no good. So it's been like a kind of weird day of like silence, which it sounds like it'd be really peaceful, but as it turns out, um, 
I feel kind of awkward in silence. Like even if it's just me, like it's weird because I'm just not used to it. And then um, because Darren got up at like 3.30 to take my parents to the airport so that I could sleep in, which was so nice, but he's so tired. So he's been napping for like two hours. And so now I've like really been alone the past two hours. So I've been like trying to find ways like entertain myself. Um, I have no games downloaded on my phone. Um, I used to, and I just assumed that I did, but I guess since I got my new phone in like March or April, I guess I haven't played any phone games because I didn't realize I have none. Um, and then uh, I found like this basket of like old like weird musical stuff that we used to have like maracas and these weird like trapezoid shaped um like harp things and like recorders from like elementary school and so i've been like making my own really weird um not very good music <laughs> and uh i'm like running out of things to do because i have no one to talk to i'm like all by myself and um yeah nothing to like break the silence so um that's fun i'm um, also the we don't have like real tv here um like everyone in my family canceled that years ago we all just have streaming services so again without internet like we have nothing we have no regular radios because everything's like digital we just use like our phone and connect to a speaker so um yes it turns out we're like super super reliant on wi-fi and we don't have it so this has been interesting um i think i'm gonna like just make dinner and hang out by myself i don't know um i think i'm gonna go through some of the cookbooks see what recipes i have the ingredients for or have most of the things for or maybe i'll just go find ingredients in the fridge and cabinets and just like make my own creation i don't know i don't know i'm like grasping at straws here um I can't even find like my word search and like Sudoku books that like I usually bring on like flights and stuff to like kill time. Like I can't find anything. I, like I'm almost resorting to like tic-tac-toe by myself. Like it's getting that bad. <laughs> so <laughs> that's where I'm at. I hope you guys are having a more interesting day. Um, but I think I'm, I'm just gonna go and end the video here because you guys, there's like nothing going on. I was hoping to like show you guys fun stuff and um it's not happening <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and also heads up uh, apology in advance this will be ready to have been uploaded for the normal scheduling video going live on monday however without internet to upload i can't do that so um I don't know when this video will go live as soon as the internet's back up, but I hope you guys enjoy it whenever you are able to see it. And don't forget to tune in in a couple days for another new video. And thanks again for watching, guys. Sorry this took a peculiar turn, but <laughs> this is what it is. We're rolling with the punches. So I hope you guys have a great day, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.